teach, where do I start? Like, I knew him a long time, and um, then I didn't really know him for ages, and then got to know him again, and um, he was kind of not really painting with any of his normal lot, crew, call it what you want. And he started doing stuff with me, started doing stuff with us. In that time, you know, it was only a few, it wasn't long. So it was a matter of months, not a matter of years. And, you know, in that time, his style basically completely changed. And he started doing stuff that looked like mine and blah, blah, blah. I was just letting it go. I didn't really care. It was just, it was more embarrassing for him than me. It was just funny, really, that, like, you know, that, you know, he was so great, but he bit a bumpkin. I thought it was great. Um, so we ended up painting this big inflatable pig for Roger Waters from, uh, from Pink Floyd, and, uh, well, bas basically, if you ever see it, you can see who did it all, and, uh, basically I did it, and he did a couple of throw-ups on it, or we did a couple of throw-ups on it each. Anyway, from that, um, everything was cool, I was still doing his graffiti for him, we were all friends, <laughs> and, um, then we've, um, then all of a sudden one day, this is this is what was the nail in the coffin. Like this was the end of him, as far as I'm concerned. And you know, we're, we're still we're still yet to sort it out because he did promise to sort me out at one point, but nothing ever came of it. Um, all of a sudden I'm looking at my Instagram, and it says a uh, t-shirt, some t-shirt, teach, um, blah 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 designed in conjunction with Ochre, GSD, and it's like, this is the first thing I'd ever heard about this, but I didn't even, you know, like I say, I'd never heard of it, I was, I was obviously interested, because I apparently designed it, so I had a look, and what it was, was Teach had um, used a picture of the pig that I painted, and um, told Maharishi he did it, from what I can make out, and, um, you know, it was all of a sudden on this t-shirt, designed in conjunction with me. I suppose, um, I don't really know what I suppose. I don't suppose anything. I suppose it's a complete liberty. That's what I suppose. Um, <laughs> like, and, you know, he never paid me. He never, like, asked me even if he could do it. And, like, people that know me know I'm not, like, I'm not tight. If someone had asked me that, I would have probably said, yeah, cool, do it. But to find it, you know, find out about it like that, to find out about it in a way that, like, Mate, basically, you've been snided up by your so-called mate. That was the end of it. He had to leave. He had to leave, not be part of the crew anymore, and, you know, that's that. So if, if there's any question marks as to why he's kicked out, he's much the same as any other person who's been kicked out of my crew. They're fucking wrong -uns. They're complete, just snidey, kind of two-faced, keep people in their pockets, users, basically. You know, um... And we're a little bit more honest than that, I'm a bit more direct. If I don't like someone, I don't like them, I don't keep them in my pocket in case I might use them one day. You know. So really, teacher's better off sticking, you know, better off sticking to the people he sticks to as, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>